regardless of where you are on the gun debate, I really believe that we can all be super unified in the need to protect our kids immediately. And even if you're like of the opinion that we should ban all guns or you know stricter gun controls, whatever your opinion there is, that will take time. And time, I feel like, isn't something we can afford anymore. I feel like we need to protect our children immediately and immediately um, put in airport-like security measures in all schools. I feel like that just makes tons of sense. I, I really don't see a downside to doing that. And then have the gun debate after, so just take the gun debate out of the equation and just immediately protect it schools in a much more secure way. People say, oh, there was a guard there. Yeah, but make it so it's like an airport level security gig where it, you know, it's not one guy who can take a break and tell a deranged kid what his schedule is and all that weird stuff that happened there. The fact that I'm still getting my head around the fact that 19 cops were there and waited for 78 minutes to breach classroom. That part is unbelievable. And um, I don't know how, I don't know how those cops will sort of live with themselves after that. It's almost like one of those experiments where they have a room full of people and they filter smoke in, but it's like fake and nobody moves to get out of the fire. So they all just stay there. It's one of, you know, that, that experiment of group think. It's like, how on earth you're, you're listening to that go down and parents are screaming and, and you're stopping parents from going in. I, I've heard they were tasered. I don't know if they actually tasered or they, I saw a video where they're holding a taser. I mean, the threat of being tasered or if they actually tasered parents, but regardless, it's just... It's hard to fathom how, I mean, 78 minutes, can you imagine how long that is and you're hearing gunshots? And the cops, I saw videos, are armed to the teeth. They all have like crazy assault rifles. It's like, it makes no sense. I don't understand how none of them thought, listen, I gotta stop this. I gotta go protect those kids. It's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. So anyway, but I, I just feel like we need to have real security in schools immediately. Um, that seems like a common sense solution. And then, then let's debate guns. But if we wait to do something else while we're debating guns, then I'm afraid this will happen again. It happens far too often. So gun debate aside, I don't understand how anyone would have a problem saying, okay, let's protect the schools now with single point entry and exit, a metal detector, and, a, and in a big school, a couple armed guards, or a small school, maybe one armed guard, but it takes their job really seriously. I know there was a guard, things can happen, somebody left the door ajar, you know. It's not to say that this will prevent it from ever happening again, but it will definitely help if we start taking school security more seriously. I mean, one guy gets on a plane with some wires sticking out of his shoe. How many years ago? 20? Uh, no, more than that. And I gotta take my shoes off every time I get on a plane now still. So, it's time. It's time to protect the kids. And it's time to find out what happened in Ufaldi and how. 19 cops could be waiting outside with guns hearing that go off for 78 minutes. That's cuckoo. That is bananas. I, I can't imagine the pain of those families. So my heart goes out to them. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share that.